Space is a very crowded place these days. Hundreds of satellites daily beam information back to people like Lin Lin Ji. He's made a name internationally for his ability to provide valuable information to those working in disaster zones. An expert in radar remote sensing, Associate Professor Ji and his team have invented a technique for automatic analysis of data from interferometric synthetic aperture radar, or INSAR as it's commonly known. Uh, radar interferometry basically is to combine two radar images so that we can generate uh, terrain maps or map uh, how much the ground has moved. When the Sichuan earthquake struck in 2008, Lin Lin Ji and his team were quick to offer their services. Drawing data off a Japanese satellite, the team worked around the clock to interpret the data. They then fed the results back to Chinese authorities so that resources could be sent to where they were most needed. On the uh, image, it actually shows uh, how much the ground has dis uh, displaced. Usually people will think, oh, OK, the epicenter will be uh, damaged the most, but uh, that's not the case. It's really where the ground moved the most that would uh, produce the most damage. So by looking at uh, the map we produced, they can actually say, oh, OK, we should send the team there instead of to the epicenter. This unique capability has since been applied in Australia's Victorian bushfires and floods in the east and north of Australia. Radar sensing has the capacity to cut through thick smoke and cloud cover, going where conventional optical and infrared sensor just can't reach. For, for people on the ground, they say, well, OK, uh, there is a gap here. You might be able to uh, get out uh, via road over there. Our research in this area really began with uh, monitoring of mine subsidence. The surface of the ground would uh, be displaced as a result of mining. So with our technology now, we can monitor better than one centimetre, uh, very cost effectively and uh, over a large area. The UNSW team's expertise is now being used by Chinese authorities to detect illegal mining activities. The project is about to map the uh, substance due to underground mining and uh, using that information to pick up uh, illegal mining sites. This is the legal mining site. Well, this one here is actually falling uh, outside the mining plan, so obviously that's illegal. We're very strong in the application domain, and indeed the, the automated system, we're the only one, and that's why the, both uh, the Italian Space Agency and the German Space Agency are coming to us for a collaboration. The team believes it can now offer satellite radar mapping on a global basis.